Well, as you can see, we have a lot going on in the Delmarva Life Kitchen today. In fact, every time Joy Quinn Whalen is here, we always have a lot going on. <laughs> Joy's the, uh, the store owner of the Spice and Tea Exchange in Ocean City and Rehoboth, and today we're going to be grilling and chilling starting with the grilling that's right what's on the menu for today so um our motto is sharing the experience of a flavorful life mm -hmm. and a lot of people come in our shop and they just get really overwhelmed they don't know where to start so today i want to show you it's just very easy okay so if we look at some burgers i have a whole range of burgers here beef lamb turkey um, salmon all you need to do is take a couple tablespoons of our blends with a pound and a half of meat, mix it up and throw it on the grill. That's easy. Here we have beef with our Moroccan blend, so you get some of that Middle Eastern flavor, which pairs wonderfully with some sour cream and some of our coastal blend. Mm. So you get that kind of tzatziki type of burger. Here we have a turkey with some Jamaican jerk. We have turkey with a ginger teriyaki. Ooh. We have a Vicks um, blue cheese burger, we call this. It has Vicks garlic blend. It has blue cheese powder. It has a little za'atar. Uh, and that's really great. You can even top that with some extra blue cheese crumbles and it's delicious. Um, finally, we have a smokehouse blend for somebody who's more into now the smoky talking. flavors <laughs> with a little hint of cinnamon. That's really nice paired with a cheddar mayo that we'll make here today. And finally, a mushroom paradise that you could top with a lot of freshly chopped mushrooms. And again, just a lot of flavor. Finally, salmon burger, you could do vegetarian as well with our seafood blackening. Pair that with a lemon garlic mayo or what I was suggesting today is a sriracha mayo. And the mayos, the infused ketchup, everything you can do in a couple of seconds. Okay, again, you mentioned some people get overwhelmed. I, I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed with all that, but you, when you come into the shop, you help your customers exactly. to, to make it. We talk about, you know, what kind of flavors do you like, what do you like to make, and we can um, help you explore with your senses. Okay. Opening the jars to smell is the key thing that we do in the store, and smell is actually a gateway to taste. And so my first experience in the store, stu as soon as I started smelling, I just had all these great ideas about what I could cook. All right, well you're gonna actually put us to work to, act to make some of these dipping right. sauces. So here you have a choice. This is mayo, just plain mayo. We have a gourmet pepper blend, a sriracha sauce, or a cheddar powder. Mm -hmm. So that's a probably about two to three tablespoons of mayo. Just take a teaspoon, Put uh -huh. a couple in, mix and taste, and you see what you think. Do you want one, Corey? Uh, sriracha, Sir, please, I, over I here. Ha actually had a funny feeling you were going to <laughs> say you. that. Or did you want him to do the ketchup? No, nope, that's fine. Okay. And then here with ketchup, um, as you guys are mixing that up, I'll just tell you what we have. You know, we have ketchup here with our ginger teriyaki, our Korean barbecue tandoori blend, which is nice on baked chicken, is great in a ketchup. We also have our Carolina barbecue, which gives you a little more of that vinegary taste uh -huh. in your ketchup. Uh, cinnabar smoke is a nice smoke with a hint of cinnamon. And then our classic... Um, smoked barbecue blend. Oh my goodness. So if you guys mix that up, you can take a potato and take a taste and, and see what you think. This yeah. actually mixes up really, it really does. nicely. It does, it does. Here, have a potato, you can taste yours. All right. I pulled one out here. Oh, I accidentally got two. Oh well. Oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> it, and, and we always say, you know, we wish people could smell what we're making. I wish you could smell all these spices. And again, I have a lot of the recipes online with mm. a lot of suggestions on how to pair different ketchups and mayos with the burgers. Mm. And then, in addition to burgers, everybody likes chicken and wings and fancy finger foods, but our fancy finger foods are done very easily. You could do it in the oven, you could do it in the crock pot. I've actually done these grilled as well. I'm going to reach over and yeah, try, try your try sriracha. That. Do you want to try my gourmet pepper spice blend? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> it's got a kick to it. It's very delicious. Mm. Oh, wow, it does. Oh, my goodness. That's right. phenomenal. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. All right, and then you have wings over here. Right, and so the wings that I prepared today, we have a um, Jamaican jerk sticky wing. Mm -hmm. So um, that's pretty nice and um, has a little bit of sweetness to it and a little bit of heat from some cayenne pepper and a sweet heat blend that we have. The next one is a really nice Middle Eastern one. It's a Baharat chicken. Um, Baharat is um, a very savory blend with some light hints of cinnamon and then that's paired with simply a yogurt sauce with the baharat and some lemon and garlic and things like that. And then finally we have the Korean bar barbecue which starts with a mango habanero sugar 
and um, some sweet heat cayenne pepper and then the Korean barbecue. Oh my goodness, I don't even know which one. Do you have a preference? Uh, the, that one. <laughs> this one? Oh, sure. you want, you want yeah. <laughs> the Korean. There you go, try it out. Okay. I think I'm gonna try Thank out you. this middle one here. And this is the Korean? That is the Korean. Mm -hmm. Baharat. Baharat? Baharat. Okay, dip it in some sauce here. <laughs> oh, I didn't even dip it, and it's still amazing. Mmm. Oh all right. Well, I tell you what, the grilling is absolutely amazing, but we're also doing some chilling. Right. So that's coming up next. We're making cool drinks to wash down some of this delicious food. How about a Fizzy Arnold or a mango green tea peach cocktail? That's next.